Morning guys, uh, Derek Raymond Marmon here and we're continuing on going through the workbook of A Course in Miracles together. Yesterday was lesson two, I have given everything I see in this room all the meaning that it has for me. Today we're going to go on to lesson three. I do not understand anything I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place. Apply this idea in the same way as the previous ones, without making distinctions of any kind. Whatever you see becomes a proper subject for applying the idea. Be sure that you do not question the suitability of anything for application of the idea. These are not exercises in judgment. Anything is suitable if you see it. Some of the things you see may have emotionally charged meaning for you, Try to lay such feelings aside and merely use these, th these things exactly as you would anything else. The point of the exercise is to help you clear your mind of all past associations, to see things exactly as they appear to you now, and to realize how little you really understand about them. It is therefore essential that you keep a perfectly open mind, unhap unhampered by judgment, and selecting the things to which the idea for the day is to be applied. For this purpose, one thing is like another, equally suitable and therefore equally useful. The mantra is, I do not understand anything I see in this room, on the street, from this window, in this place, wherever you might be when you're doing the practice, when you're practicing these exercises. Um, <clears throat> So something that really stands out for me here is where it says that, uh, let's see, where did it go? About the past, that you have past associations with things. So that's the reason why we don't understand the things we see is because when we look at them, we're seeing only the past often. I mean, even when you look at, um, like when I pull out my favorite coffee mug in the morning, um, it's tied to memories. It's tied to like, you know, memories of coffee, but there's a, there's a photo on it that's tied to memories. And so, uh, this is just like a basic, uh, it, it seems really simple at first, you know? Uh, and I thought it was kind of silly when I first started doing these exercises, but the way they build on top of each other and the way that you ultimately come to see that like you just, you don't understand anything that you see. And that's not like a, you know, when I first went through these, it seems like on some level it was like disempowering my own wisdom, my own intelligence, but ultimately what it's doing is it's, it's empowering your spiritual vision. Um, so that's your mantra for today and uh, enjoy. We'll be back tomorrow with lesson four.